What's up, everybody? It's me, it's Alexis Maurice, and... Boys Hollywood. And it is time for a new episode of The Wine Up. So go ahead and pour yourself a glass of wine. Tonight, we're drinking on some Stella Rosa. Um, this one actually is a Stella Pink. I'm not sure what type of wine that is, but it's a Stella Pink. Stella Pink. Um, ladies, put on some lipstick. Fellas, put your lip balm, chapstick, whatever you use. Um, pull up a chair because we are about to discuss the latest hot topics. Now, while we go ahead and take our first sip, make sure that you like this video on YouTube. Make sure that you comment during the show. Let us know if you agree, if you disagree, or what your view is. Also, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. We also want you to share this video. Share it on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all of that good stuff. Because it's got, free. It's free. Ain't no charge. Does, no charge. Doesn't cost anything no for you. Cable. To, no what? No deductible. No down payment. <laughs> to share the video. So share it to everyone. But before we take our first sip, let's have a moment of silence for Mob Deep's um, prodigy, um, iconic rapper who passed away um, this week due to complications with sickle cell anemia. Right. Um, so we definitely want to celebrate him and salute um, his life over a glass of wine. Some pink wine. Some pink wine. So, uh, moment of silence to Prodigy. <laughs> and Kanye West are in the news again. So they have decided to <laughs> they have decided to expand their family. So they want a total of three kids now. North wasn't enough. Saint wasn't enough. Now they got to come up or they got to have they want to have another baby. You know what I feel? What? I feel like what it is is mm -hmm. is that they're trying to follow Beyonce and Jamie's lead. <laughs> you know they she had her first children. Mm -hmm. Her first two kids. Beyonce didn't have her first one. Mm -hmm. Beyonce did have the last two, mm -hmm. and now they want to have somebody else have their last. And for the record, we still don't know the names of Beyonce's baby. Not only do we not know the names, it's been about five days. We still ain't sending no pictures, pictures of them babies. Cool. But you know they were premature, so they're still up under the light. You know, continuing to develop and all that good stuff. So we hope everything continues to go well. For step them. into the light. Well, no, don't step into the light. No, don't step into the light. But you know, Kim Kardashian and you know Kanye, they want to go for their little third bundle of joy. But yeah. this time, Kim will not be carrying the baby. Right. Um, they're actually hiring a surrogate to actually carry um the newborn baby. Now, no word when they're actually going to start the process. Probably already did. No one You're knows. absolutely right. The surrogate probably is already um, pregnant. Already now, pregnant. the surrogate is being paid $45,000 to carry the baby. What do you think about that? Um, It's kind of low. I agree. I agree 100%. See, because if... Okay, for me, if, if I was given my... my, my, my Your cooch. Your womb. My, my semen. Your womb. To maybe somebody <laughs> who makes maybe... A hundred thousand dollars a year. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna spend maybe forty five thousand, right? Fifty thousand. But when it's Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, and Kanye West Kim Kardashian West and Kanye West, I won't. No, a minimum. Y'all are low balling. I want a minimum of two point five million. Okay. Now, Trey, I'm gonna have to agree with you on that. You're gonna break me off at least a million dollars to carry this baby. Hello. I, I'm just sorry. Not not and, and, and the company, the um, the the agency that actually found who's gonna they find this pay. woman, they're getting paid seventy thousand dollars. So why in the hell are they getting paid more than I am? She must be. And I'm, I'm carrying baby West. You Hello. know, I'm carrying Ken, Kim, Kim, and Kanye's heir to whatever throne. Oh hell no! I'm you ain't gonna save me no forty five thousand. I'm pretty dollars. sure what Beyonce to pay helped them to carry the lady to pay carry blue. <laughs> she was paid uh, over a million. I agree, one hundred percent. We got, we got North. What's the other baby name? You know, Saint, Saint West. Yes, Northwest. Mm -hmm. The next one will be Sir West if it's a boy. <laughs> Sir, West. Sir West. Now, Kim Kardashian also was in the news this week, not because of the baby, mm. you know, wanting to have the third baby, but there's some controversy over the launch of her new um, makeup line. Kim Kardashian launched her own Kim you know, Kardashian beauty line. West Beauty. Exactly. That's what the name of it is. And one of the highlights and one of the biggest things of her line that sold out instantly was the contouring, the contouring kit. Or whatever, learning how to you know, use the contour white. of their face. So the controversy right. is a lot of people feel that this picture, that Kim Kardashian appears to be a lot darker than she normally is. 
Um, so people, you know, a lot of black women, you know, angry black women. Um, so they're saying that Kim Kardashian is, you know, she's she a fraud. She trying to be black when she ain't black. Now, what do you think about this? I mean, clearly she don't care because reportedly she made forty million, not fourteen million dollars in one day. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't really care, but she did care. I mean, because she did whatever she did, right? But I mean, I personally don't really care because. You got people who say some black people who try to be white, yeah. you know, by doing this and this. You got the you got the white lady who was trying to be black, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, what's her name? Rachel. Rachel Dozier or something yeah. like that. I mean, we understand being black is a beautiful thing it because is. once you go black, you don't never want to go back. Mm -hmm. So Kim Kardashian already got the black butt. She got the black man. She got, she the, got black the black man. babies. Yeah. Or whatever. So now, why not? Of course, tint your skin, your skin tone. But I don't believe no. that she actually did it. Now no. she was on the View recently, and no. she did have a darker complexion. But people who are of a certain pigmentation, when they're out in the sun, they tend to get a little darker. Now, I personally didn't see anything wrong with it. I'm not offended. I don't think Kim Kardashian was trying to use black face or anything of that particular nature. I don't feel that she was trying to make herself darker to appear to, you know, women of color with this particular makeup line. Right, right. Um, I think you guys are reaching, and right. I think it, it what happens is it takes away from people when there are instances where people are trying to, you know, use our skin tone and our complexion to actually sell different things. So, to kind of diffuse the situation, what Kim did is she did lighten those pictures. Yep. Um, and then she, you know, put them back out there again, of course. She um, know how to act, she know how to put some water on the fire. Yeah. You know, you know how to kind of kind of diffuse the situation. Exactly. You know, so right and then she made this statement, of course, I obviously never wanted to offend anyone. I used an amazing photographer and a team of people. I was really tan when we shot the images, and it might be that contrast was off. But I showed the image to many people. Too many in the business. No one brought that to our attention. No one mentioned it. Of course, I have the utmost respect for why people might feel the way that they did. And like I said, she opted to go ahead and lighten those pictures up. For me, I don't really see Kim and her family as white. You know, there are, there, to me, there are people, they're Armenian, so they're people of color. To me, their skin tones might not be as dark as ours. But I don't really see them as being white. I mean, people. of course they're not Caucasian. Yeah. But they're not black. They're not black, but I think that they have some color or some, you know, they have a little bit more pigment yeah, in their yeah. skin. Yeah. The makeup. Um, the tan. <laughs> but yeah. I, I, I don't know. I just don't see them. Just like you know, you know, you have Hispanics, and then you have. To me, Asians are not even white. You know, even though some of them might look it, but. They're, they, to me, they're all people of color. Anybody who ain't white to me is a person of color. <laughs> that's just, that's just my personal opinion. <laughs> oh, whatever. So if you're not Caucasian, you're a color. You're a person of color. Right. Hold on. What are you saying? If you're not, yes. If you're not Caucasian, that you're a person of color. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel that way. Maybe I'm a little crazy. A I don't little. Know. Low key or high key, whatever. Shit. <laughs> well, someone else who decided to show their. Um, black skin and make it, you know, make their black cherry juices, <laughs> you know, flow and all kind of stuff like that. I'm not about to play this game with you. Yes, honey, it was juicy, just as black as he can be. Uh, <laughs> Milan Christopher. <laughs> Milan Christopher. Now, for those of you who don't know who Milan Christopher is, he actually was on a season of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, the season before last. And if you don't remember him from that, he was in porn before that. So he was in that as well. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with a person doing porn. No, right? no, no, no. I'm just saying that okay. some people. But you didn't have to. You didn't some have to say that. Some of our more people know do not him. Watch Love and Hip Hop. Whatever. More people know him because Hollywood. of Love and Hip Hop. So they might have saw him and his in a porn before that. Like that. Well, ain't that wrong with being a little porn? You see how people do you, you know, you just felt the need to throw that little negative nugget. That's not negative. Yeah, but the way that you positioned it was negative. I wanted to get his resume. If you don't know him for loving him, you would. Whatever. You was porn. Whatever. You know what you was trying to do. You was throwing your little shade. I wanted to Cynthia. give. Cynthia, his... you was throwing your little shade. No. Yes, I was you not. Right. I said what I said. So what you said was some he porn. Was in porn before he was on loving Hip Hop. Anyway. Time. Milan Christopher made headlines this week because he went full-blown, full frontal nude 
and um, this month's issue of Paper Front Magazine. That we're not talking right. We ain't talking about you know just nude up here with the chest. We talking about ass was out. Bam, bam, ass was bent over yeah. on a motorcycle. His you know male genitalia, what shit? His dick was oh. hanging all over the place or whatever. Um, so you know he kind of broke the internet. His yeah, he broke the internet. Italian. He did break the internet. He was the number one trending topic on Twitter. Yes, he was. Okay, when you're a number one trending topic on Twitter, you have you have made it. You, okay? No, you have not. That's yeah, social media. See, and that's, what's media. Wrong, see, that's what's wrong with y'all young people. And social media, yes, and you have people change. with the same name. On social media, you bitch, I'm older than you. Oh, by what? A couple a of months. Year. A couple of months. Yeah. I've been 33 Monday. You just turned 33 a couple months I'm ago. I'm 34. Oh, bitch, you old. Yeah, right. You young people don't know what you're talking about. You arrived and you're the trending topic. I'm talking about on social media. I guess in this age of social media, we you live in arrived social media, media world. world. Anywho, he has arrived. Whatever. Okay. Milan Christopher has already arrived. arrived. The straight people saw. Gay people saw. <laughs> bisexual. Asian. Hispanic. Trisexual. Black. Everybody. Drag queens. Saw. Transgender. It. All of them saw the back of him, the front of him, the top and the bottom. They saw the crack All of that. Ass. The sole of his feet. All like, only thing they didn't see was his toes because he had on some socks. But then they saw the penis and they saw the ass. They didn't see the crack. They didn't see the. Then we, we saw the crack. I was about to say. He might as well went in and bent on the Oh, Lord. But, Milan, what made you do that? Like, seriously. Now, he when he was asked this question, this is what Milan said. He said, Well, I feel like in our culture, it's so taboo for a guy to show their bodies, uh -huh. but it's okay for a woman to do it. Yeah. I just kind of want to break that. I think I have a nice body, mm -hmm. and I think it's art, and I just think that it should be celebrated right. like they celebrate women's body. Yeah, so, you know, course. I can be a guy and be gay and be black and be artistic in a nude fashion shoot um, the same way that anybody else could. Kim Kardashian did it. Rihanna did it. Right. And Emma Rose, Rose did recently it. did it too. Now, for those of you who don't know, a couple of weeks ago, she broke the internet by posting um, a picture of her and her bussy pussy. Um, so she I, what I want to know is, because mm -hmm. I'm interested in knowing, right. we had an Emma Rose challenge. Right. And we, we had a Nicki Minaj challenge. Mm -hmm. Can we get them a live Christmas show? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and tweet that. Right now, live on the show. I'm going to go ahead and tweet that. Well, Amber Rose's picture was actually taken down. Um, but when it was taken down from Instagram, she went back and she started the hashtag, Bring Back the Bush. <laughs> what Amber Rose had to say about you know her post. Post your version of my picture in hashtag Amber Rose Challenge behalf of feminism, body positivity, and not conforming to society norms of how we should live, what we should wear, and where we should shave. Now, here's my thing. I understand their intent. I understand both of their both of their intents. But I don't I don't really know if going nude actually Makes it. I, I don't know if you're making a point by going nude. What's the okay? So nude is, is it nude showing a, showing a bushy put a pussy. I mean, what? I I don't get it. I don't. Me I don't personally, know. when I used to mess with the with with the with the women, mm -hmm. I didn't really like it that that, that that bushy. You don't like bushy pussies. I even butts. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Hairy butts. Mm -mm. You got you got you got mm -mm. you got to shave a little bit. Shave it. Like with a guy, it just gotta be completely shaped. Mm -hmm. Girl, it can be a little bit, mm -hmm. but I ain't for all that hair. You not from here? I'm not a real. I don't like. I, I don't like time. a lot of hair either. I got the hair. patience, and I do not um, have the credit. For hair, hair holds a lot of musk and sweat and stuff, and it just. Mm, I'm just not. I don't get into hair like that. But with Milan Christopher, um, he was shaved. His was shaved or whatever, and he has a lot of nice assets, front and back or whatever. Yes. And I understand what he's saying, you know. Be you, be free, be us. Exactly, because you it's know gay, when, gay when you want, yes, yeah, gay problem. But mm -hmm. it's just not about just that because yes. you know in movies and be stuff you. like that, they don't really show a lot of male nudity, front and front of nudity. Oh no. Exactly. Even back, the day, ass. even back in the day, remember coming up, they had that thing on TV. What was that thing that used to come on TV on that late night? It used to come on HBO. Real um, sex? Yes. Mm -hmm. All you, you saw the breasts. Yeah. You saw the vagina. Very seldomly. You saw some dick sometimes. A little bit. Like, I remember, for me, I think the first time I remember seeing a dick in a movie or something like that 
was um, Boogie Nights. Remember Boogie Nights? Yes. That movie Boogie Nights? Yes. And at the very end, wait, Mark Wahlberg. Uh, I, but I wasn't expecting it. After though. you saw it the first but time. But I went back and saw it like 50 million times or whatever. Mm. But, you know, you don't see a lot of full frontal nudity. So, Milan, I don't know if those Love & Hip Hop checks have dried up or not. But, you know, shout out to you for, you know, bearing it all for the magazine. I'm going to tweet this episode to Milan. When you see this, I want you to come to Atlanta. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And I want you to come and sit down with us. Right. And I want you to talk to us mm -hmm. about your adventures into doing this spread and your future endeavors. I want to know. No, you don't. Yes, you just I want to sit and look at his ass. That too. Right, exactly. So shut that crap. But up. I do care about your future endeavors. So the Hollywood yeah. Walk of Fame, class of 2018. So the list has been released. And there are a number of people who are actually going to be receiving their star on the Hollywood of, Walk of Fame. A lot of black people. A lot of black people. Um, so who are some of the people, um, Trey? Anthony Anderson mm -hmm. from Blackish. Bernie Mac. Mm -hmm. Taraji P. Henson. Congratulations, Taraji. Shonda Rhimes. Mm -hmm. Zoe Zaldana. Zaldana. Mary Emma J. Blige. Mm -hmm. uh, Ice Cube. Mm -hmm. Ice T, not Ice right, Cube. Yes. Ice Cube just got here. Yes, he just got here. That's why yeah. I said that. I see Snoop D O W G. Mm -hmm. So congratulations to all of those people who actually got their star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Now you know, for a lot of people, you know, there's a lot of people out there who people think they should have a walk. Yes. On the you know Hollywood Walk of Fame. That's a lot of people who I think should have one. Mark who? I mean, there's a lot of people who I think should have one. Mark who? Tony Braxton should have one. Brandy should have one. Why should Brandy? Angela Bassett should have one. What has Brandy done so they get her one? Well, she's done a lot of stuff. You know, charitable or career? I mean, which one do you want to talk about? Well, if she did it enough, she would have one by now. Well, what I just find out is that, you know, it takes either a backing of management, um, record label, um, sponsorships, or fans. Mm -hmm. um, and so... I, I'm gonna talk to the stars. Um, yeah, because y'all need to get it. Y'all need to get y'all stuff together. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm over. Make the nomination yeah. and put Brandy up there. And I'm pretty sure you know. Who's nominated. Of course, she probably more than likely. Well, it ain't gonna be. Hard. It's Brandy. I mean, honestly, if you think about it, Moesha, Cover Girl, First Black, Only Cinderella. I mean, I well, mean, obviously it ain't that easy because if she would have, it was that easy. But we haven't, we haven't, we haven't done it. But I mean, to think about it, it, was, it, it, was, it wasn't, it wasn't so, it, it wasn't is. so heaven like when back when she back when she was supposed to be on the spot, you had all those other big names, what like Celine Dion, you know, you know, all of those other people. So I mean, I'm working on it. I'm, I'm gonna talk to them. We'll see what we can do. Blah blah. blah. But, but congratulations to all the, the two class of 2018 shady. recipients of shady, the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Have you heard about this um, Bachelor in Paradise <coughs> controversy that's been going on? You know, that, that's what led me to post what I posted on Facebook earlier. About what? The white man's world? Yes. <laughs> because if a, if a white woman says she's raped by a man, she's a victim. Mm -hmm. If a black woman says she's raped by a man, mm -hmm. she's trying to come up. <laughs> That's just my observation on shit that's going on in this world. So for those of you who don't know what's going on, The Bachelor in Paradise basically is a show of rejects from The Bachelor and The Bachelorette. Damn rejects. So the people who might have, you know, were the close contenders or the people who, you know, maybe started a lot of controversy, mm -hmm. they all come to The Bachelor in Paradise and we gonna see, you know, what happened when you get all of these rejects in the room together. Fights, I mean, yeah, sure. Exactly, so there was a situation where um, a young lady by Corinne Olympios and Demario Jackson, um, Demario Jackson was the one who was just booted off from the Bachelorette. You know, we have a black Bachelorette this year or whatever. And he was booted off. So apparently there was a situation that had took place in the pool or the hot tub. Right. Where, you know, Demario and Corinne, they got it on or whatever. You know, they was kissing and, you know, touching and sucking. And there was a lot of alcohol that was falling. Kissing, and kissing, some things, kissing. you know. Some 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 lines was crossed or whatever, and it was said that some pe somebody was doing a little eating and a little sucking. What's wrong with that? On Corinne's body parts. Well, the problem was one of the production members felt that okay, we shouldn't be filming this, or they felt that she, Corinne, the white girl, um, wasn't in her right mind and she was too consumed with alcohol. Next morning, you know, she heard about what took place in the hot tub with her and Demario. And she, you know, she didn't say that she was raped, 
but she felt that she was taken advantage of by the production. These whores. I mean, these women kill me. <laughs> now, why, why does she have to be a whore, Trey? Because you know you wanted to dick. You know you wanted to be ate out in the water. It was one of your passionate fantasies. You wanted, you wanted it. The boy fine, first of all. <laughs> fine. And probably got some good good. Mm -hmm. And you wanted it in the water. You wanted some of that bleach. So that why you sitting here talking about you feel like I was I was violated. Right. I was touched for now the very she, first time. She made Girl, it, she made it her business to let everyone know that she does not blame him at all. Mm -hmm. She said that he is just as much a victim of this as she because production was the one who, you know, who encouraged it. Do she we has age? no recollection of it. Do we have the age of these young men? And the They're young in their 30s, I believe. Grown as fuck. Ain't no production got nothing to do with it. You know no, what Actually, no, she's 24. And Old the, enough. And he is 30. Old enough. I, I, the way I see it, it was two conce cons consensual adults. Mm -hmm. Participating in some fellatio exactly. up under the influence. What they say? They say women mature faster than men. <laughs> so if you're 24, you're actually 28. Oh, if no. he was 30, he was actually 28. <laughs> Same age. Y'all good. Y'all good. Well, as a result of this, production was shut down on Bachelor in Paradise, and ABC wanted to conduct an investigation. The investigation is over, and production has resumed. And ABC said there was no wrongdoing on the on the on the she's still on the show on production. He's not coming back. But as of right now, I know that she's lawyered up or whatever. So we'll we're gonna see what happens to that situation. Yeah, Girl, you would never get she's trying job. to sue the you production company job. because she said that they you know was encouraging and filming them, and she didn't remember, had no recollection. Now there are other people, other castmates who said that they saw what was going on, and she was awake. And she was cognizant of what she was doing. Lost she was trying program. to get the BBC. She was trying to get the big black cop. So uh, right now, or uh, I guess me and you are BB. saying, oh no, BBC, big black cop, big black dick. White people say big black cop, but he's black, black. people say big black dick, but he's black. So you gotta say big black dick. No, Trey. Yes. The BBC. You gotta go based on what the person actually had. People don't say BBD. People say BBC. No, you say BBD. No, they big. don't. They hey, say somebody's trying to say cop. You just said it, and I that said it. The whole it. world says it or whatever. So we'll see what <laughs> happens with this. <laughs> All right, so our last story of the night has to do with Mr. Bill Cosby himself. Now, last episode, we reported that it was a mistrial mm -hmm. or whatever. More details have come out said that the jury, it really wasn't deadlocked like people thought. It was first reported that, you know, they were split down the middle. But it was actually 10 people saying that he was guilty. And it was probably them two black people who was on the, ju on the jury fighting power or whatever. Thank you for standing up for Mr. Cosby. Mm -hmm. And he is going to be hosting a series of town halls in which Mr. Cosby will be educating people on the dangers of sexual assault and how to avoid being accused of it. They say he's planning on teaching them how to look out for warning signs for potential victims and handle accusations that could follow, especially athletes. They need to know what they're facing when they're heading out partying and what they're doing Certain things that they could, they shouldn't be doing. What do you think about this? I love it. <laughs> I fucking love it. I hope you come here because I want to go to it. What better person? What better person? I mean, not because he's a, a rapist. Seminar, not because or, he's a rapist. No, because, but because of the fact that he's been accused. But I want to rewind a little bit and go back to these 10 people who said that he was, was, was guilty. I want those 10 individuals to meet me outside, meet me at the door, because I need to know why the fuck you think he's guilty. Matter of fact, I don't even know. I need y'all to stand alive and just come across the swing at all, y'all. Okay? Because this man is one general slap. I just want to come across the whole thing. Don't duck when I get to the to the, to the ninth person. Because I want all ten of y'all motherfuckers to be in the line. And all y'all gonna feel the wrath trying to keep this man talking about he guilty. Shout out to those two people. Okay? I don't know if you're black, white, right stand, I don't care what you are. Fuck the police! It matters, okay? <laughs> all them white people and them cops out there shooting all these black men and getting the fuck away with it. But Bill Cosby is accused of raping these whores or sexually assaulting these whores. These women. Whores. They women. wanted it. They wanted it. Okay? Women. Okay. Sexually assaulting these women, these young women, these young Caucasian or African American yeah, women. Yeah, they weren't just white. Right? I said, or African American. He is accused, accused of sexually assaulting these women, and y'all want to send him to jail. But you got these cops out here who are supposed to protect 
and sir, mm -hmm. blankly shooting and killing people, and they getting away with it. But you want to convict Bill Cosby, the one who's had, had a successful career, who's made people laugh, who's shown his care, who's done charitable, and you want to say he's fucking guilty? You know what? Y'all, y'all going to hell. I'm sorry to say it. Them ten people, something wrong with y'all. You ain't living right. You need to get right with God. Okay. Well, I mean, okay. Now that ain't right. It ain't right. The world we live in right now is corrupt. Now you got people out here shooting say people this. in cars for, for no damn reason. In, I, in reference to Bill Cosby, Bill Cosby probably did give them women roofies and quaaludes. And okay, stuff. I get it. Maybe he did. Maybe did he, he did. give them to them? You know, without their permission, probably. So that does make this him guilty of that. This probably he probably but did. I still feel that those women went up to the room. With the intent of getting the BBC. I'm going to tell you what he did. Maurice. <laughs> you want some pudding pop? It's going to make the party even better. Make it a little better. And they probably say, yeah. And he put in a drink. And they, that's it. Yeah. But they knew. They yeah. asked for it. He probably came to them and asked if they want some pudding pop. And they could right. send it to I don't think it's fair for all of them to say that Bill Cosby gave them those things without their knowledge. Now, did he did he do it? Probably. He probably did. And no probably did. He, like I said before, he even admitted it when he was in, you know, the little depositions and stuff like that. But them women knew what they were doing. Should he just let them come up and get the BBC up on, you know, not up under the influence? BBD. Bill Cosby, you should have went on your own matter. They already came up to the room. They wanted to get the BBC. But in reference to what you were saying about the police officers and stuff, you're absolutely right. What puzzles me is the, the prosecution has already stated and come out and said they're going to try him again. Right. Try okay. these cops again. That's what puzzles me is that why has no one ever looked into trying some of these cops again? They're so adamant about bringing this man down. But I do commend Bill Cosby for wanting to do this little town hall when it comes to sexual assaults. I think when it happens, he probably should remove himself from it. Um, you know, if he, if he has a foundation, let his foundation do so it. So he shouldn't go? I don't think he should go. I think he should go. You want to know why? I, I, I want so. him to come in land. I want to meet him. I want to shake his hand. You know what I'm going to say? Good Bill Cosby need to do... Thank you. He need to do a video. Just do a video that he shows to people. It's impersonal. Just like Steve Smith. It's not personal. He needs to he have, have somebody come. else Not Steve Smith. It. Steve Harvey. It's not personal. Yeah, no. He needs to come sit down with the people. Yeah. Talk to the people. I don't think that's a good Tell idea. Tell them about mistakes that he may have made. I, I may have cheated on my wife. That you shouldn't do this. Just stuff. Yeah. Because he make a video, then what they gonna do? I, I think I, the I video need, could smell. be. I need to hear you. I, I think the video could be beneficial as well too. But if he comes on tour, what I think will happen is you're gonna have a lot of people. Women's empowerment groups are probably gonna boycott and protest it. It's fine. They can stay in the ass outside and do it. <laughs> Hello. We want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Lineup. Again, make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Make sure that you like this video and share it on all social media platforms. And we will see you guys next episode. Have a good weekend. Bye.